Let's go Sunday. Game of the week, it is the delivery of the week, brought to you by Hungry Howie's Flavored Crust Pizza, the official pizza of Cash the Ticket and James Anthony Costa. Ravens, there are threes, there are three and a halves, and I think it absolutely matters in how you play this game. Ravens laying three, yes. Ravens laying three and a half, no. Dolphins, I liked them at four and a half. The problem, everybody else did. You've got an interesting cap. Take take the people through, and then I'm going to offer you mine. I want to see if they are anything alike. So I stumbled into this fourth time since the merger in 1970 that the number one offense has faced the number one defense, scoring offense, scoring defense, in the final two weeks of the regular season. The team with the better offense, the top scoring offense, has won three of the four meetings. So this is a nod to the Dolphins who bring in the number one offense. They're beat up. I'm, I'm looking at the injury report. Their offensive line's getting healthier. The running backs are still both dinged up, banged up. Healthier. Uh, Waddle, don't think he's going to play, but Tyreek Hill should be in this game. And I think while they're still flashing a three and a half on FanDuel, I want to grab it because I think there's some value there. Baltimore coming back, short week, emotional win. And yeah, throw the trend in there. I'm going to take the Dolphins in the three and a half. All right, so... This is not like sleight of hand. I will take the Ravens at three. Sure. I We've done this there's before. There's nothing wrong with your cap. But when, when Lamar is a favorite of a field goal or less, <laughs> covering machine, they're at home. You know what's fascinating with this game? Both teams in letdown spots. Yeah. Biggest win of their season last week, Ravens. Biggest win of their season last week, Dolphins. Now, you face each other with the number one seed on the line in the AFC. And I go back to this, and maybe I'm a slapdick. I like both these coaches. But Harbaugh, I remember back last year, the Ravens blowing that huge lead against the Dolphins, mm-hmm. Tua clowning the Ravens in their own building with 28 in the fourth quarter. Mm-hmm. The Ravens don't forget shit like that. This is not a lazy cap. I'm being serious with you. Teams like the Ravens, teams like the Steelers, teams that have these these established identities. You know, earlier in the year, you heard Patrick Queen talk about we're playing Ravens football. Yeah. I, I, I look at the Dolphins with a beat-up O-line, no waddle, a, a proud defense that got absolutely de-pants last year, and I only got to lay the three. Mm-hmm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go Ravens here. And you know what? I think Lamar's on a little bit of a revenge tour as well. Uh-huh. He's in the lead for the MVP now. Last year this time, we were all talking about how he quit on his team how he wasn't even showing up, the whole contract dispute. You know what? I think he's keeping the receipts. I think he wants that second MVP. Now, nah, sorry for him. Until you win playoff games and win a Super Bowl, I don't give a shit. But Ravens lay the three for me. You're taking the Dolphins with three and a half. Yeah. 